Boss, I've been hanging around your studio recording some podcasts. I notice you've got quite a few of these Celsius in your I face. love Celsius. How much do you love it? I drink a lot. A lot? How much? I don't want to say, I don't want other people to, like, I'm not. You want to crash the market. I'm not getting paid to endorse it, but I, I, I do love it. It gives me energy and it's healthy. You know that better Is than anybody. Is it healthy? Is it? what I'm told. Really? Mm -hmm. Okay. W would you drink raw sewage if it was healthy? Or sewage, sorry, treated sewage, if it was healthy. Treated sewage? Treated sewage. Like treated... Uh, I guess like... With loving care? I guess, <laughs> maybe, mean? yeah, with loving no, care. I don't want to be anywhere near sewage. You don't? No. I want to show you something fun. Mm -hmm. Let's see what you think. Have you ever heard of a Celsius energy drink? Yeah. Celsius energy drink has four times the amount of daily cyanide that a human being is meant to ingest. Four <laughs> times. That's just one sample. And do you know where we would get hydrogen cyanide? Because these... These um, facilities that actually compound this P12, they don't even pay for the hydrogen cyanide. You know where they get it? Human sewage treatment plant. It is the waste from a human sewage treatment plant. It's called sludge. It's foamy yellow sludge. They <laughs> scrape it off the top, they dry it, turn it into a powder, ship it to a facility, <laughs> synthesize it with a metal. No. Take metal, hydrogen cyanide. No. Put it in our supplements. <laughs> for that word, cyanocobalamin, and if it no, happens, I, don't, I want to really more. Turn it off. What, do you, what the fuck is that? Is that... Why are you laughing? <laughs> I love this. Uh, what, what the fuck is that? That's got to be a lie. Is you, that a lie? Be honest with me. Okay. Is that a lie? I'm going to get to the bottom of it for you. I promise. Oh, so it's bullshit. <laughs> but it's bullshit, right? It's bullshit, right? I'm looking. Nobody's looking at me. Is it bullshit? Is it bullshit? Is it bullshit? You know, it's well, bullshit. Well, we're going to get to the bottom. I'm going to... Don't get to the bottom of it. I just swallowed a lot of just it. Just hold on. I love... I love Celsius. What are you saying? I love sewage? Keeping it real with Jillian Michaels. Jillian Michaels. By popular demand, the world's most handsome and accomplished PhD in nutrition science is back. Dr. Joseph Munoz, how are you? I'm doing great. Thank you for having me back on. Um, so now I, I want to throw this out there to everybody. I'm hitting all the cameras as though I'm talking to every audience member. Dr. J is going to come on and sit with me in person, hopefully sooner than later, and give us a masterclass on nutrition. There have been many requests. It's going to happen. But I, I would be remiss if I didn't have you do some takedowns this week. Are you ready to crack some skulls? I'm ready. I Listen, I am certainly not drinking... Celsius personally, but this is alarming. We're drinking piss and shit. I mean, what's going on? <laughs> <laughs> so those are some pretty big oh, flames, right? Just, yeah, like something's pinging my bullshit radar, but I just talk to me. Yeah. So the first thing I want to say is because I obviously react to these types of videos very frequently on social media. And when I talk about these things, well, for example, you just mentioned, I personally don't drink Celsius, but this sounds like BS, right? Anytime I talk about these things, people always come and say things like, how can you be promoting energy drinks, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, listen, that's not what I'm doing. It's your personal decision to decide whether you right. want to drink something or not. I'm simply trying to talk about the facts, right? And people make very ridiculous statements about energy drinks, certain foods, chemicals, et cetera, because it tracks eyeballs really right like it sounds it sounds crazy so people watch this stuff now we could break this down into a couple of different topics i really want to focus this conversation around the cyanide right, uh, like true cyanide or false thing. yeah start with the, the is it is this true is there any part of it that's true no perfect let me break it down <laughs> so first and foremost it is incorrect to say that Celsius has four times the allowable amounts of cyanide per can. That's just plain, that's just wrong. First and foremost, we need to start by discussing what the difference between cyanide and cyanocobalamin is. Right, because okay? I thought this was People B12? Yep, so cobalamin is the name for vitamin B12, okay? And now when we take it in a supplemental form, the B12 is always bound to something else for digestion and absorption. Okay. Okay. And it can be bound to a number of different things. Cyanocobalamin is one form of vitamin B12. Okay. And it's a very popular form in supplements, and it's completely safe. Okay. Now, here's the thing. It has a cyanide group attached to it, okay. but that doesn't... That's What's not a cyanide the group? Is that a molecule thing? Because all yes. we know of cyanide is it's a poison thing. But Correct. But it's not necessarily a poison? So... 
I, I have an example that I'm okay, going to Okay, 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 yeah, yeah, Cla- clarify. When we talk about cyanide, it's a molecule and it is poisonous, okay. right? And now we'll talk about the fact that the dose makes the poison as well. It's not accurate to just say any quantity is poisonous. Got we'll it. talk about dosing in a second as well. Okay. But what's important to understand is that just because something is poisonous in one form, that doesn't mean that it may be poisonous in another form. Here's a perfect example. Okay. Okay. Water. It has a lot of hydrogen, right? H2O. Right. There's a lot of hydrogen in water. Hydrogen, free hydrogen, is very dangerous. But when you consume it as water, oh, it's not dangerous because the hydrogen is bound. chemically bound I to the see. oxygen. Got so it. So it changes the properties of the chemical. Makes sense. Okay? Yeah. So when we talk about cyanocobalamin, cyanide is just the chemical name of this type of molecule. But when it is bound to vitamin B12, it's not free cyanide. So it doesn't have the same negative impact on our health. And our bodies have mechanisms, which we'll talk about, about to detoxify the cyanide as well, to get rid of it through urine. Okay. So this leads us to the next thing, which is that the dose really makes the poison. What people don't understand is that cyanide is naturally present in foods. Well, like Almonds, apples, right? Black seeds. Right. Yep. Apple seeds. The seeds in the right. The saba, which is really popular in like South American cultures. These foods have cyanide. Yet these foods, we would argue that almonds are good for your health. Flax seeds are good for your health. Cassava, which is a root, is good for your health. Why? Because the dose makes the poison. You're just not eating enough for it to be harmful. And our liver uh, turns cyanide into something known as thiocyanate, which is way less poisonous. And then we excrete it through our urine, right? So if we are consuming a certain amount and at the same time we are releasing it from our body through urine, it's not toxic, right? Ah. So it's really important to understand that the dose makes the poison. Understood. You can argue the same thing about water. You can drink so much water that you dilute the electrolytes in your blood and you die from overhydration. Right. Right? But it isn't so, the again, hydrogen that's killing you. So it's like you've got two separate arguments. You've got the fact that it's bound, which makes it safe. But then at the same time, even the dose of what would be dangerous, if it was dangerous, isn't even present. So that's bullshit. Yeah. Got it. And now I want to share some specific numbers because I did some math before coming on here. Because I was like, Where, why is Gary saying that Celsius has four times the allowable cyanide? Because I was like, why does Gary ah. say anything that Gary says? So what I was thinking is like, okay, maybe there really is a lot of cyanocobalamin and maybe it is higher than the acceptable levels of cyanide because I didn't know off the top of my head what the acceptable levels of cyanide are. So I started to look into that and the whole argument falls apart. So the WHO, or the World Health Organization, puts out what are called the ADIs, or the acceptable daily intakes of different things, including things that are toxic or poisonous, right? Mm -hmm. Because as we mentioned, the dose makes the poison, and we are exposed to these things on a daily basis, right? There's environmental pollutants. We're exposed to things that are bad for us on a daily basis. right? And theoretically, would it be better if we could avoid them at all costs? Sure, but that's practically impossible. So we have to talk about, like, what are allowable doses that aren't necessarily harmful, right? The ADI for cyanide is 0.05 milligrams per kilogram of body weight. For somebody like myself, I weigh around 220 pounds. That's about five milligrams. Okay. Okay. So it's important to understand this number. Five milligrams is the amount that I would need to consume in order for it to be harmful or possibly harmful. Got it. Okay. Now let's go a step beyond that. First, we have to ask, well, how much cyanocobalamin is in Celsius? If you go to the back of the can, it tells you six micrograms per can. Micrograms. Micrograms. Right. Six micrograms is equal to 0.006 milligrams. Okay. And I just told you I need to consume five milligrams in order for it to be harmful. So it's way lower than that. Right. Like like, the fractions of a percent, basically? Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Fraction. Yeah. It's, It's like a tenth of a percent, essentially. But here's the thing. Cyanocobalamin is not 100% cyanide. It is cyanide and cobalamin, right? So if we go beyond that, so the way that you can tell how much of it is cyanide is essentially you you take what's called the molecular weight of cyanide and the molecular weight of cobalamin, and you essentially do a fraction to know how much of it is cyanide. So cyanide only makes up 2% of cyanocobalamin. So if you have six micrograms of cyanocobalamin, you only have 0.1 micrograms or 0.00011 milligrams of cyanide. And for me, a 100 kilogram individual or 220 pound adult, that is 0.002% of the ADI. 
So I would technically have to consume like 500 Celsius in a to sitting. get to that amount, right? Check. So okay. I, I don't understand. Ooh. I understand the confusion of like cyanide, cyanocobalamin, like that's a little bit confusing. But when you break down the numbers, I don't understand where he gets the four times from. And I double checked my math about five times yeah, before coming under. Not doing him. I'll be honest. I cannot believe they're not bringing suit against him. It blows my mind. But um, it, interestingly, I don't know if there are any suits or anything like that going on or in, or in the works, but I was, you know, doing some reading on the Celsius website and there was big bold letters saying some popular social media people have been saying that we get our cyanide from, they didn't plant. say human waste, but they said, uh, they said a, a politically correct word, essentially. Oh, is there? And they're one? like, we do not get it from here. This is the link. This is where we get it from. So it's it's not coming from human waste the way that it's being said there either. I don't, <sighs> Jillian, I don't understand some of these, like how he makes some of these claims and gets away with them because I know we're talking about this Celsius thing, but I break down one of his claims at least once a week or once every you, other week. You've done another it for one me that he talks times. about. Hit me. There's one that he talks about. Whey protein is the reason why people are fat. Oh, we know that the amino acid uh, profile in whey is like exceptional, right? And it's this is an ad protein, to sell his right? amino it's supplement. Like the actually. most bioavailable. Yes, okay. it's, a, it's not. A, not only is it a complete protein, it has a really high amount of leucine, which is really important. It's extremely bioavailable, awesome. right? Like you and I encourage people to eat whole food for a number of other reasons, but if we're talking about just like protein quality, whey protein is extremely high quality. And to say that he, word for word, he said. The thing is that the amino acids that you consume from whey get turned into sugar and it makes you fat. It's like, that's not the way it works. First right. off, it's extremely energetically expensive. What that means is like metabolic, metabolically, we don't really turn amino acids into sugar unless we really have to because we just use carbohydrates for that, right? right? And it's just, it's these things that sound super sexy and people are just like, oh my God, I shouldn't <laughs> be taking whey. But it's, it's, it's funny when you know a little bit of science because it just doesn't hold it doesn't hold any weight. Nope, it holds none. That said, how can we educate ourselves further? Um, so if people want to learn more from me, all my social media uh, profiles are just at Dr. Joey Munoz. It's dr. J-O-E-Y-M-U-N-O-Z. My podcast is the Dr. Joey Munoz Show because I'm not as creative as you are with having a good name. Uh, so I'm saying, I'm just going to name it my own name. And uh, I, I like to say that that's my most educational content. We just launched a coaching membership. As you guys could probably tell by listening to me, I am completely anti-BS. And like you, Jillian, I tell people straight up, like improving your health, improving your body composition takes hard work. It does, right? But what I like to tell people is that if you keep on trying to spend time jumping from one diet to the next, one workout plan to the next, trying to find what's best for you, you're just going to keep spinning your wheels, never seeing progress. When you acknowledge that you have to develop a healthy overall diet, um, and really train hard and learn how to train for optimizing muscle growth, that's when you can start making progress. And that's exactly what we help our members do in our community. Um, we have a ton of really fantastic uh, training programs to help people build muscle sustainably. We do weekly technique feedback. So we collect videos from our members and give them feedback on how to improve their training. So it's awesome. like having a personal trainer in your pocket, that. essentially. The cool part about it is the community. Because what do people lack more than anything? Truly accountability, support, and guidance right? It's like, what I like to say is like, you can find a workout plan online for free. You could find a nutrition plan for free, but where can you get guidance and accountability? And well, can you find that from a guidance from like, nutrition science though? I would still say no. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Just, hey. <laughs> yes, you can. And yeah. I have a product for that. That's like a guy. No, all jokes aside, I'm a guy, um, but generally speaking. <laughs> yeah. All jokes aside, I really do think we have one of the best coaching services out there at a really affordable price. And if you guys want to check that out and learn more, just head over to fitforlifeacademy.health slash membership. I know that's a mouthful, so the link will be down in the description. Keeping it real with Jillian Michaels.